In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about how to evaluate the sources that you're finding. So if you think about it, a lot of the problem that we've been having with vaccines and really with COVID in general is there's a lot of misinformation and disinformation online. Part of the reason why your professor asked me to put together this research guide is to help point you guys towards authoritative or reliable sources of information for your project. But how can you tell if what you found is really any good, if the source is reliable or um, something you should use? And that gets really hard, especially when you're using sources that you're not familiar with. So if we go back and look at um, one of the databases I showed you guys earlier, Opposing Viewpoints, you can see that I've done a search on vaccine safety and I've pulled up some audio clips. So there's a bunch here that look interesting um, while COVID still rages and it was on morning edition. Novavax researcher says no chance of a shortcut in vaccine safety. It's on all things considered. But if you don't know what those things are, how can you tell that they're actually a good source? This is inside one of the library's databases, so you can trust it, but what if you found it online and you, what if you just want to be sure? So there is a process that you can quickly use to evaluate the quality of your sources, and it's laid out on this page here um, under the tab that says evaluating sources. And the first thing that you want to do is investigate the source. So you want to find out what is that source. Um, and so the easiest way to do that is what's called the Wikipedia trick. So all I'm going to do is um, go to um, my browser and type in Wikipedia. And then I'm going to pick type in the all things considered. And the first result is the Wikipedia entry on the source. And you can kind of look it up. It is a flagship news program on the American Network National Public Radio. Now, you might not know what National Public Radio is, like I do. Um, so you would, could click that and find out what the heck is National Public Radio. It's a um, privately and publicly funded nonprofit media organization. It's going to tell you um, the history of it the governance, right, non-commercial, non-commercial educational situation, you know, where it gets its funding, underwriter, audience, things like that. So suddenly you have an idea of, you know, where that program came from, at what the um, bias or point of view of the producers are, and whether or not um, it's something that you can trust. So that's kind of the first thing that you can do. Um, to check and make sure that you're using a source that you can believe um, or that you know the point of view that it's giving you. Um, there's some more steps that you can take if you find something online, especially if you find something in Twitter or in Facebook or Instagram. Um, and that includes going back to the original source. So if somebody reposted it somewhere, you want to go back to the original source. Um, and also to check better sources. So this is the other part that gets hard. Sometimes you'll read something online and you don't know if it's legit or not. And so you need to, a trusted source that you can go to to check it. And if you don't already have your own set of sources that you've cultivated, you can scroll down here and we've got some fact checking website and reliable news sources that you can use. And one of them is US Major Dailies, which is the database I was showing you earlier, which has the 21 major US newspapers. And so if something you see online is also being reported in one of these papers, you can rest assured that it's actually really happening. So if you want more information about how to evaluate sources really quickly, um, you can look here, there's a set of three of uh, four really short videos that are, were put together by a professor at the Washington State University. And I think once you um, get the hang of these, these um, three quick steps to check your sources, you're going to be using more reliable information from now on.